These days, because of coronavirus, the market is really volatile. It seems as if everything is going to crash soon, resulting in an imminent recession. In this video, we're going to talk about how to still make money on market conditions such as these. Also, at the end of this video, we have some advice for those of you that are affected by the coronavirus and so you'd prevent harm to your credit in an economy like this. Before we get started, we just need to let you know that we're not a financial advisor. This video is merely for entertainment purposes and we ask that you do your due diligence before making any financial decisions. Recession is usually defined as a negative GDP growth for two quarters in a row, but for the general public, recession is described as a decline in economic activity. So the current market situation is experiencing a recession by one definition and not quite by the other one. Regardless of these definitions, we can all agree that it's not a normal economic condition that we're currently experiencing. And that happened because of the past few days the market has shown huge volatility due to the spread of the coronavirus. As an example, on March 12th, S&P 500, which is 500 of the wealthiest and strongest companies in the US, was down by 10%. We should understand that this is not the first time that this market has behaved like this. Everything may seem scary right now, but keep in mind that the market has always recovered from tough times like these, so there's no need to panic. Most financial advisors talk about times like these as opportunities to buy more. In fact, Warren Buffett, who's one of the most successful investors, has also discussed this. Unfortunately, no one knows for sure when it will be the best time to buy. This is the question that investors have struggled with forever. So we put together five ways to make money when faced with market conditions like these. The first way to make money in these conditions is by investing in inverse ETFs. Inverse ETFs, or exchange traded funds, are designed to perform as the opposite of a correlating stock. If the popular stock market indexes like NASDAQ, Dow Jones, or S&P 500 indicate that the market is going down, it is likely that all stocks will be going down as well. As an example, Direction SHSET slash Daily S&P Oil and Gas with the ticker symbol GUSH or GUSH has the inverse ETF with the ticker symbol DRIP or DRIP. These two act as opposites of one another, so when gush goes up, drip will go down, and vice versa. Inverse ETFs typically don't do well in the long term because the average stock market return is around 10% annually. So if the stock market is steadily rising, these stocks will steadily fall, and vice versa. Think of them as sort of a mirror image of a stock. It's best to buy inverse ETFs in the short term when the market is going down, like today's market, whether it be by day trading, which is buying and selling in one day, or swing trading, which is more than one day or overnight. The second way that you can make money in the stock market in these conditions would be to do something that investors refer to as buying the dips. This essentially means that you buy a stock after it declined in price, anticipating that it will eventually bounce back as stocks tend to do in the market. For example, say Microsoft plunges drastically and you figure that it's a fantastic opportunity for you to purchase shares for a lower price. If you buy the dips, you should wait until you see the stock has consolidated at a certain price point. When you see that it's beginning to increase, that's the best time to buy because you have a higher chance to make a profit. Since the coronavirus, the stocks have all plunged dramatically. In this specific case, we know the cause of the market plunge, so the best time to purchase these dips would be when you see that this illness stops spreading or they come up with a vaccine, and when you see the stocks begin to rise as a result. A lot of investors swear by this technique, and you could definitely profit substantially by doing this. 
Unlike investing in inverted ETFs, buying the dips is a strategy that is better for a long-term investment as it's always unclear as to when exactly the stock will rebound. The third way to make money in volatile conditions such as these would be to put your money into savings accounts and simply collect the interest from the bank or financial institution. Your gains will definitely not be a substantial amount, but it'll give you a little something extra depending on the percentage rates. This is the safest option if you're not comfortable investing in the stock market. When you deposit money into the savings account, you'll earn interest that will potentially be compounded, which means you'll earn interest on the principal amount plus the interest that you've already earned. In our previous video, we focused on a savings account that also doubles as a checking account that's offered by Robinhood, which earns you 1.3% APY, or annual percentage yield, which is the interest that banks pay you to keep your money in their savings accounts. You can check out the video in the link in the top right corner. As we showed you in that video, there are several options to choose from that will give you a decent APY percentage if you place your money in their savings accounts. The fourth way to make money in these difficult times right now would be to take advantage of something called bank churning. Bank churning is basically when you open up a new bank account that offers a sign-up bonus. You fulfill the minimum requirements set forth by the bank to receive the bonus, and then close the account afterward or keep it open with the minimum balance if you so desire. You can repeat this process at a different bank afterwards and continue getting these bonuses over and over. These are generally a couple hundred dollars from each bank, and that amount can add up in the long run. Examples of banks that offer sign-up bonuses would be Chase, that currently offers 200 to new customers, and Key Bank, which offers the same $200 to the new customers. You could even sign up for these offers online, which is especially helpful in today's situation because leaving the house for some is not really an option. So you can basically make money by sitting on your couch and watching TV. Credit card churning is another way to make money in this current hardship. It's basically like bank churning, and the best part about this method is the fact that you don't even need to have any money to start with. You only really need to have a good to excellent credit score. Many credit cards offer some pretty good sign-up bonuses to new cardholders, and when you practice credit card churning, you open accounts and reap the benefits of said bonuses. Generally, these cards make you spend a certain amount in a set time frame before you get your bonus, but sometimes they can be pretty decent. One thing to keep in mind is that you don't want to put yourself in debt by using these cards. You can use them for your daily spendages, like grocery shopping or gas for your car, things that you would normally spend anyway but make sure that you use them responsibly and pay them down in a timely manner. Also, keep in mind that if you wanna do a credit card churning, some cards have annual fees, so make sure that you choose ones that don't have an annual fee. We have a video coming up about credit card churning that you could check out in the description below. Perhaps you're one of the many people that has lost their job due to all the closures and shutdowns that the government is implementing currently, and you're worried how you'll be able to keep yourself afloat without ruining your credit in the process. As we promised at the beginning of this video, here's some advice for you. One thing that you could do would be to write a letter to your creditors and lenders and explain the situation at hand. It's always worth a shot to write them a letter and ask if there's any ways that you could possibly get some assistance. Tell them if you're having a hardship making your payments and see if they'll agree to a lower amount and see if you can pay what you can. You can also add a 100 word statement to your credit reports explaining your situation. For example, be advised that the negative accounts on my credit report are related to the coronavirus. I intend to make these up as soon as I can. As we discussed throughout this video, there are several ways in which you can make money during these trying economic times. To recap, we put things into two categories. If you have savings or cash in your bank account, and if you don't. If you have savings, investing in short-term ETFs when the market is going down is an option for you. You can invest long-term and buy the dips when you see signs of uptrending in the market Taking advantage of savings accounts and earn interest in the long term on the money that you put in there is also another way. 
You can try bank churning and open up a new bank account and reap the benefits of the sign-on bonuses. If you don't have savings, credit card churning is another option to consider and get the sign-on bonuses. Lastly, if you're experiencing hardship due to the coronavirus, you can talk to your creditors and try to work out an arrangement, put a note on your credit reports, and pay what you can. Not all of these options are foolproof, and again, we must reiterate that you do your homework before jumping into any investment opportunities that we mentioned in this video. The situation out there right now is scary and uncertain for sure, but we hope that we can help you make everything more manageable and put your fears to rest. We make videos like this to help everyone like us save money or take advantage of any existing opportunities out there to gain financial freedom. For more videos like this, please subscribe, like, and hit that bell to get notified of our latest videos.